you everybody and welcome back to the uh, second half of Ignite Phoenix number seven. We are going to kick this second half off with something that we call Ignite Slideshow Karaoke. The three people that I called out at the uh, intermission are waiting backstage, uh, super excited to get up here, and they're going to deliver an Ignite presentation that they have never seen before. I, in a particularly evil mood with a whole lot of alcohol, made this presentation. So if you see me beaten up and bloody later, it was probably them doing it. So they're going to have to get up and talk to these slides as they see them and pretend like they are giving that presentation. This is really, really hard. So please, cheer them on, encourage them. At the end, we're going to bring them all back on and vote and see who gave the best, most authentic Ignite presentation from this material that they've never seen before. So, everybody ready? Then please give a warm welcome to Miss Laura Baker. Hi, my name is Laura Baker, and um, I'm here to talk to you about eggs because I happen to be a chicken and duck farmer, um, which is true. Um, if you guys have catch my presentation earlier on chickens, um, the thing about it is that platypuses don't make good egg layers. Um, puppets, however, are awesome because, um, no, they don't lay eggs either. Um, they just sit on chairs. Um, they are really important for um, laying eggs that are... <laughs> All right, let's, let's switch themes for a little while. Um, the reason why I have eggs is for my kids, and it's really important to teach your kids about things. And, um, you know, we talked about art and about... Um, <laughs> it's really important to mix art with puppets. And, um, you know, when you're, when you're working with kids, you want to explain to them the really fine parts of art, like um, if someone's got a very big crab, um, you just, yeah, you want to explain that to your kids, that they don't lay eggs, um, I think, they, they don't make good farm animals, um, <laughs> however, um, Walt Disney, um, he, um, this might be inspiring to your children that, you know, life ends, it's a cycle with eggs. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Scott Gustafson, and I teach economics. I teach economics at the community college at 7 a.m., and this is how my students see me. <laughs> that is, if they see me at all. Occasionally, they have spent an evening prior to um, attending class, at which time um, they tend to try to multitask. They tend to try to both attend class and sleep in. Uh, usually they're trying to dream about things like this. Although I teach at the community college, it's 56% female. Two-thirds of all of my students are always men. Um, they have different things that they are thinking about at those particular periods of time. And it's important to be able to come through and be able to grab their attention. Okay. One of the other things that happens at the community college is we get all kinds of different individuals there. We have a very diverse student body. <laughs> In addition to having a very diverse student body, we also teach certain other types of uh, life skills that you may need. Hello everyone, I am Kevin Kittredge at Transmatrix on Twitter, and here I'm going to talk to you about why you should ride the light rail. You might run into gals like this who think you're hilarious as you're telling them, talking to them as a stranger, right? Like, like our earlier speaker told us, and told them that great grandpa joke about the difference between peanut butter and jam. 
The other thing is you might run into someone like this who has all sorts of weird stuffed animals and you don't know where they're keeping them and, and where they're storing them and, or why they bring them with them on their commute to work. And then you get really angry people with braces. <laughs> I don't mind that they're angry at me, but why are they show me their braces? I don't, I don't know what's going on there. And I think they might need to trim some nose hairs there too. <laughs> Now you gotta be really careful about the medication days on light rail, immunization days on light rail, especially when it's Chinese immunization day. I've seen this before on the light rail. Now, the guy that had this box, he was being escorted by a couple of cops, so you know that was kind of how it went. And then all of a sudden, this guy went up and said, "Whoa!" <laughs> and he said, "You know," I, I said, "Is this train real?" And then he handed me a, a Duracell battery. Come on up, come on up. Come on, big round of applause. Okay, stand right here in the middle. Let's hold a little bit. All right, I think they are all very deserving of that applause, but by cheering, hooting, and hollering, who thinks the best overall performance was? Laura. Boom! Yeah. All right. That sounded pretty clear to me. Sir, congratulations. We have some fantastic prizes courtesy of Bookman's. You've got thermos in here, you've got some gift certificates, I think we've got some stuff from Billy's Deli in here, we've got shirts. This is a fabulous prize pack that you can share with the students at your class. Thank you. Second place goes to Kevin, Laura, fantastic job. And if you could keep that applause going for another 15-20 seconds, welcome our first performer of the second half onto the stage. <laughs> 